kwamba Mungu even though he has to enemy ikawa atamuomba chochote has everything hapo na vyote he has more than enough hapo na zaidi ya kutoshe still your faith anafanya tu kujaribu imani yako testing your faith anajaribu imani yako we will see that his testimony taona hiyo na this is the season that we are talking about the rising of our savior na hii ni majira ambayo tunayo nena kuhusu kuinuka ama kufufuka kwa Yesu wetu. We will not get tired of saying that Jesus is risen. Hatutachoka kusema ya kwamba Yesu amefufuka. And he has gone to a, up to prepare a place for us. Na pia baada ya kufufuka ameenda mahali kutuandalia. And he confessed that if it was not so he would have told us. Na kakili ya kwamba ingekuwa si hivyo angetuambia. So we now have a still and a strong blessed hope and a promise. Kwa hilo tuko na hakikisho na imani ya lile ahadi. That one of these beautiful mornings. Ya kwamba moja wapo ya asubuhi nzuri. Or one of these wonderful nights. Ama katika usiku hizi. We shall see the Lord revealed in the clouds. Tunamwona Bwana, tutamwona Bwana akidhihirishwa mawinguni. And the Bible says we do not know how it shall be. Na Biblia inasema hatujui jinsi itakavyokuwa. But one certain thing. Lakini jambo moja. Is that we be transformed. Na kwamba tuta and be like him na tuwe kama yeye so that we become perfect to inherit that kingdom ili tuwe sawa kumiliki ule uzima in the name of jesus katika jina that, la yesu that is my desire this morning hiyo ndio tamani yangu asubuhi ya leo that is my joy this morning hiyo ndio furaha yangu asubuhi ya leo i want it to be a joy in my life na pia nawe natamani iwe furaha yako so that you do not have your mind distracted by this worldly other things ili usipate mawazo yako ikiharibiwa na mambo ya dunia But have a blessed hope where your joy is stored. Lakini uwe na tumaini la furaha ambapo furaha yako inatoka. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. It might sound the same old story. Inaweza onekana kama ni hadithi ile ya kale. But let me tell you my dear it is new every morning. Lakini waacha ni kuambia mpendwa ni mpya kila asubuhi. The hope is new every morning. Atumaini ni mpya kila asubuhi. Every bride that is looking forward to get married. Kila mmoja anayeangalia kuolewa. They see every day as a wonderful day coming near to their marriage day. Yeye huona kila siku ni siku jema inayokaribia siku yao ya harusi. That is the way it is for the saints. Na hivyo ndivyo ilivyo katika wateule. So last week we looked at the the attributes of Jesus. Wiki ambayo iliyopita tuliangalia kuhusu habari ya Yesu. And we said that we need to emulate him. Na tukasema lazima tufanane na Yesu. So that we be where he is when he comes. Nili tuwe mahali ambapo atakapokuwa wakati atapokuja. Today we want to go forward. Siku ya leo tunataka kuendelea. And look at some items and some uh, some objective of his coming na tuangalie mambo ambayo yanahusikana na kurudi kwake one of the objective why he came jambo la kwanza kwa nini akaja he said in isaiah in isaiah 61 verses 1 akasema katika kitabu cha isaiah 61 mstari wa kwanza the spirit of the lord is upon me ya kwamba roho wa bwana yu juu yangu because the uh, because the lord has anointed me maana mwenyezi mungu ameniweka wakfu to preach good tidings to the poor akanituma niwaletee wano wano habari jema he has sent me ahead uh, to heal the broken hearted niwatibu waliovunjika moyo to proclaim liberty to the captives niwatangazie mateka kwamba watapata uhuru and the opening of the prison to those who are bound na wafungwa kwamba watafunguliwa praise the name of the lord jina la bwana litukuzwe you see jesus when he when jesus went to the synagogue naona wakati yesu alipoingia katika hekalu it was very clear god is god of order ilikuwa dhahili ya kwamba Mungu ni Mungu wa utaratibu. He had to proclaim his vision and mission on earth. Lazima angeweka wazi maono yake katika dunia. And this vision has been there before in the times of the prophets. Na haya maono yalikuwa 
But he had to bring it forward to refresh the mind of people. So he took the scroll and read those words. And once he had done with that, he crossed the scroll and kept it down. My dear, that was the vision and that was the mission of Jesus. Good news to the poor. Healing the broken hearted. Rebutted to the captives. And liberating those who are in prison. Praise the name of Jesus. I do not want to go to the details of all of them. But I will touch one number two, the healing of the broken hearted. In the name of Jesus. Those the greatest of them of all being the preaching the good news. And that's why we are talking about winning souls this Easter. So when we talk about broken, broken hearted, there are three types of breaking down or, or, or hurting in your heart. There is one which is spiritual. You could be in the spirit and serving God. In the, in the evangelism, in praising and worshiping and other services in the house of the Lord. But you will find that some things can get off mark. Like one day this servant of, of God called Moses. He walked with the children of Israel. And when they were moving through miracle after miracle. Wonderment after wonderment. One day they rose up and they stood in front of their doors. And they said they are tired of eating what they have been eating. And they complained to Moses. And you know this was in the desert. Anything to eat was a miracle. But these people of God had gotten tired of a certain miracle. So even in the spiritual realm you can get people bothering you. You can have people you are, you are doing your best to practice and worship and praise. But you find people are not satisfied with what you are doing. You can be preaching and praying and people are not satisfied. Instead people are criticizing you. Many have gotten broken. Spiritually. They have found like they are not getting recognized. And then because of that they feel down in their spirit. Because of that spiritual frustration they get broken in their hearts. Look at Jesus in this kind of a situation. Look at Jesus at this time. So that you get encouraged. That even when the son of man was walking on the land. People did not find value in his sacrifice. So our sacrifice is just a small thing. We should be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Looking unto Jesus. Because he's going to heal our hearts. He's going to, to, to amend it. In Jesus name. Moses was mad. In fact he stood outside 
prayed and he called upon God. And he told God, surely did I give birth to these pharaohs? Why should I be bothered to this extent? God, take my life. I don't want to be among these people. They are stiff-necked people. So let us not get to there, my brethren. Let us not give up. Let Jesus heal our heart because he is ready. He is familiar with our suffering. In the name of Jesus. There is also emotional hurting. Yes, he sees her too. And you find maybe in your family you have worked your best. But nothing seems to work. You are not getting the love you thought you should. Your expectations are down there. This is hurting you emotionally. But Jesus has come to heal the broken hearted. You have a place before Jesus. Call upon his name. Tell him to love your husband. To love your wife. To drop the peace that surpasses all man's understanding. And your heart will be healed in Jesus' name. Because that was the purpose why he came. In the name of Jesus. It could be friends. It could be people you are working with. But don't don't let your heart be depressed. Arise my brother. Jesus is alive. The purpose being to heal you. The purpose being to restore your joy. In the name of Jesus. You could be even sick in your body. You could have a child who is sick at home. You have a scar. You have a pain. This is something you should not go down on. He came that we he heal our hearts. As he heals our bodies. As he heals even our bodies. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter even if it's a job. That is also physical. In every manner. The Lord is ready to bless you. To minister to you in a mighty way. One thing about hearts and pain and wounds is that there is always going to be a scar. You will find that there is a scar because that wound will be a remembrance. So you will remain with the scar, my brother. Yes, the words that were said will remain there. Yes, the hate that you received will be there. There is Rejection will be there. But Jesus is risen. And the scars will not pre prevent you from going where you are supposed to go. But those scars will be a testimony. Those scars are things that remind you of the victory in Christ Jesus. Jesus himself was, was mocked. So emotionally he was hurt. Spiritually he was broken down. He was rejected. He endured hardship. Jesus humbled himself. Amongst all that. Even unto death. He didn't have any other possession. So Jesus was somebody whom we can compare ourselves to. And consider how to deal with our wounds and our hearts. Praise the name of Jesus. When Jesus was crucified and died on the cross, there were many scars that happened. The mockery around the land. 
hand the mocking even unto his face the cross which was a, 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 a symbol of shame that shame that went with those people who were hated and rejected and sinners and condemned there was another another scar and that was the tomb when it is the son of God you do not expect him to be put in the tomb and people said he has been buried it is over that was great shame and that was a great scar on his body there were scars of nails praise the name of the Lord but all these scars they ended up being a powerful testimony a powerful testimony of victory so whatever thing that would have happened to you badly brother whatever would have happened badly to you my sister the laughter about what happened to you the laughter and what people laughed about you it is a big scar but when you win when you triumph when you emerge victorious that will be something to show for what happened and you can be proud about it one day I met a veteran soldier one day I met a veteran soldier and he was very proud he was removing his jacket and you tell me look at this one this is a bullet man this is a bullet that passed here look at this one this is another bullet look at another one this is a bullet I have seen it my brother and I, I cannot walk back from a bullet praise the name of Jesus I will not run away from a bullet that is how a victorious Christian will stand they will say even if the devil brings anything I will not walk back I will not retreat I will not retreat praise the name of the Lord I want to tell you something about being healed and what happens anytime a miracle happens then what happens is that this wonderment and people wonder and they get shocked like when Jesus raised from the cross when he raised and he was no longer dead when the earth was shaking when there was darkness when the, the curtain of the temple cut into two there was shock and wonderment a soldier had to confess Surely this must have been the son of God. So what follows shock and wonderment is worship. Praise the name of the Lord. So do not mind my brother. When you are pressed down. When your miracle comes. People will get shocked. Is this the brother who was walking around without shoes? Is this the one who looked hopeless? 
Jesus. Is this the one who had no job? Is this the one who could not even afford to go to town? When they see you now being able to stand on your feet and ministering in high places, they will be shocked. That is the time they will be telling one another. I know that man. I know where he came from. In fact, his mother. In fact, they were staying in a small house. In fact, I know him. Those people who even could not associate with you. They are in shock and in wonderment. And others will say, Are you sure? Are you sure he was from the slum? Are you sure he was living in church? Are you, are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Praise the name of the Lord. There will be wonderment. And there will be shock. And they will worship the Lord. Because after wonderment, it is worship. They will say he's risen. They said he's risen. Praise the name of the Lord. Surely he's the son of God. Go and look for him. He's not in the in the grave. Go, he's not in the grave. In the name of Jesus. When Thomas came, when, when Thomas came, and he he looked at Jesus, and Jesus said, Look. Put your finger here. Thomas said, No, I believe. I believe. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus tells him, uh, blessed are those that believe before they see. That scar, that scar was the evidence. Retain your scar, my brother. Retain your history that is weak. It is a good star for testimony. In Jesus' name. Every time I tell people my first salary was 2,800, they look at me, huh? No, 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 2,800. They say, huh? That is a good scar. The first time I was employed for the first six months I slept on the floor. Huh? Yes, that's what happened. But they say, glory be to God. And you are the one? That's a worship in Jesus' name. And then they will tell other people. So number three of your healing of your healing is testimony. You will tell many people. People will hear from afar. And God will be glorified. And that will be more victory for other people. And that is why the Bible says they overcame Walishinda. by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony in the name of Jesus. So my brother, it is possible what you think is a problem will be a big testimony. What you think was a big sickness will be a big testimony. Right now we are waiting for a big testimony from healings that are taking place. Praise the name of Jesus. And number four of your healing result when you will be healed you will have power to go to war praise the name of the Lord when Jesus rose he told his disciples tarry ye here and the power will come when the spirit of God comes you will receive power 
power. You will receive power. And this power was to do exploits in the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Going to preach in Jerusalem. In Judea. In Samaria. And in all corners of the world. And because of that power they will be bold. In the name of Jesus. When people believe in what they are doing. They are unstoppable. When they receive power they are unstoppable. Those people preached and preached and they were crucified. They, most of them were persecuted. And most of them were even boiled with oil. Others were cut with a saw, with a saw. Praise the name of the Lord. Musumeno. Musumeno is more painful, you know? Because they had power, they would not stop. They would not be stopped by anybody. And from that time again, they moved ahead and they started using even swords to fight wars. And that is the mighty history of crusaders. They invaded the people who refused God and they started war with them. And they conquered places, they conquered the world. Praise the name of Jesus. They had power. All the spiritual power. And physical power. When we are healed and we are complete, we receive power. And even to go to war in the name of Jesus. And we are not ashamed of that gospel. Because it is power unto salvation. In Jesus name. When you receive power. The instruments of war. I want to tell you about six of them very quickly as we wind up. One of them is the word of God. The instruments of power. The power that you have received from God. Out of your victory and out of the victory of Jesus Christ. The word of God. They say it's a sword that cuts both ways. Arm yourself with the word. If somebody says something, you have a verse. If you go through a situation, you have a verse for it. Praise the name of Jesus. When you are sick, you have a word for it. And then the second one is faith. The other tool is faith. Praise the name of Jesus. Arm yourself with unreasonable or crazy faith in Jesus' name. When you see a child who is sick, don't hesitate. Say in Jesus' name you are healed. When a, when a situation stands before you, say in Jesus' name, there is a way here. Praise the name of Jesus. Do not be stopped, my brother, my sister. The third one is truth. Praise the name of Jesus. When you arm yourself with truth, then you shall be free and free indeed. Nobody will oppress you. No situation will frustrate you. You will be full of understanding. And because you know when you have the truth, the truth sets you free. 
ukweli ukweli unakuweka huru praise the name of jesus jina la bwana litukuzi that is the, the third weapon hiyo ndio silaha when you have power wakati umepokea nguvu yeah, the fourth weapon is righteousness wa silaha ya ine ni haki when you are righteous wakati wewe ni mwenye haki you have a praise before the lord uko na nafasi mbele za mungu you can go to god and come back wewe zaenda kwa mungu na urudi he saying he dwells in the company of the righteous anasema anaishi katika mahali pa watakatifu his eyes are on the righteous na macho yake inawatazamia so wale watakatifu any moment you can always look at your god kila wakati waweza tazama mungu wako and you receive the encouragement na upate kule kutiwa nguvu praise the name of jesus jina la bwana litukuzwe you maintain righteousness by not sitting in the council of the wicked unadumisha haki kwa kutoka na watenda dhambi praise the name of jesus that is how you maintain your righteousness hivyo ndivyo utadumisha haki yako and acquire that weapon na ukue na ile silaha the other weapon number 5 is gospel evangelism na silaha ya tano ni injili you can you can war in the kingdom waweza pigana katika ufalme by the king by 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 use of gospel kupitia injili it is the power of god and to salvation injili ndizo nguvu za bwana za wokovu and when you arm yourself with the gospel you are always blessed na wakati umejihami na injili umebarikiwa because the bible says blessed are the feet that take the gospel to the poor to the poor maana biblia inasema kubarikiwa ama heri ni wenye kupeleka neno habari jema in jesus name katika jina la and when you want to cover it all wakati unapotaka kufunika yote like the armored car of the security agents kama ile gari ya maaskari ama wanajeshi ya vita it is the prayer ni maombi the weapon of prayer silaha ya maombi yes you can intercede for the land dio waweza kuwa muombezi kwa ajili ya dunia intercede for yourself jiombe wewe mwenyewe in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu and the bible says na biblia inasema in isaiah 30:26 katika isaiah the radini mstari wa 26 isaiah 30:26 katika isaiah the radini mstari wa 26 that when you are healed you wounds wakati majeraha yako yamepona when all is said and done wakati yote yamesemwa na yamefanyika when you have endured your pain wakati umevumilia uchungu Hotel. You have endured the lack. Umevumilia kukosa. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jina la bwana. When all is settled. Wakati yote imetulia. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la bwana litukuzwe. Then it is said that your brightness shall be so huge. Basi inasemekana nuru yako ama kuanga kwako kutakuwa kukubwa. Nobody will be able to contend with you. Hakuna yeyote ataweza kubishana na wewe. People will be talking in whispers. Watu wataongea kwa sauti ya chini. They will be saying is that the so and so? Wataulizana je, huyo ni fulani? The brightness will be so huge. Ile nuru itakuwa kubwa sana. Praise the name of Jesus. The glory of God will be on you. Utukufu wa Mungu utakuwa juu yako. People will be moving away as you walk. Watu watakuondokea. Praise the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Many will be attracted to you. Wengi watavutwa kwako. They will want to be associated with you. Watatamani kuitanishwa na wewe. They will say you are their aunt. Watasema huyu ni auntie wetu. Even though they never talked to you before. Hata ikiwa hawakukuongelea hapo. They will say we know him. Watasema tunamjua. They, we say we know that church. Watasema tunajua ile kanisa. We that church we know. We know wait is that hiyo kanisa tunajua tunajua mahali we know those who are there tunajua wale waliko pale praise the name of jesus jina la bwana litukuzwe you will draw many unto you utavuta wengi kwako in jesus name katika jina la yesu because the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun tena mwezi utawaka kama jua and the light of the sun will be sevenfold na mwanga wa jua utakuwa mara saba you can imagine the sun times seven bu tazama jua mara saba being you ikiwa wewe no eye can look at you direct hakuna jicho linaweza kutazama praise the name of jesus jina la bwana litukuzwe it is so wonderful linafurahisha sana it is exciting inafurahisha because that is how you will shine hivyo ndivyo utakavyoangaa in jesus name katika jina la yesu we bless the lord as we wind this session 
I want to invite you to this wonderful moment of healing of all the wounds that you have. All the rebbe that you have carried. All the weight that you have put on your shoulders. Jesus is able to give you rest. In Matthew 11:28. The Bible is saying, Come to me, all you who labor. And I have ridden. And I will give you rest. So there is hope for us. Even those of us who feel like nothing is working. We are laboring and we can't see any fruits. The Lord is calling us. We have pain in our bodies. We have people who are hurting in our families. We are working and we cannot see the fruits of our work. There is one Jesus who is risen, who is ready, who is familiar with our suffering. You thought you have walked a long distance. Jesus walked all the time of his life. Roiro is just here. You can walk, go and come back five times a day. Jesus walked across countries. In Jesus name. So he is able when he understands our suffering. It is to him that I'm inviting you. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. There is mighty deliverance and restoration in the sanctuary. There is mighty healing in the sanctuary. And now I want to pray with you. If you are there and you have not received Jesus, I want to call upon the name of the Lord this day for the sake of your soul. And you be, if you believe for this and with me now. I want to say that it is possible and you, are, you will be saved. And that's the very reason Jesus came. So I want to pray with you that you may be saved in Jesus name people can be saved during corona season people can be saved in and out of season do not look at your surrounding only believe only believe when you believe in your heart and confess with your tongue the Lord will do it in Jesus name in Jesus name let us do this prayer with you and you receive your salvation hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. father I have heard your word and I have believed it. I have believed that the son came that I may have life and have it abundantly. That I may be saved. He died for the sake of my sins. I repent now and accept the sacrifice of the cross in the name of Jesus. Forgive me my sins. Sanctify me. Take me, dear Jehovah. So that I become different. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. And remove my name from the book of death. Let it be now in the book of life. That moving forward. The spirit of Christ may be in me. And I be a new creation. 
keep ya in the name of Jesus. Sustain me, Jehovah. Jehovah. That I may be one of your children. Thank you for making me one of your children. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I look forward to be blessed and to live for you. And to serve you, God. Help me, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 If you have believed with me that you are saved and you can look for a Bible believing church, a Holy Ghost believing church and one that baptizes with water and you shall be well. In Jesus name. I want to pray, pray with anyone who has a wound, pain or anything that is holding you back in Jesus name. I want to ask you if you are sick, touch where you are sick. That is a symbol of faith. In Jesus' name. And Jesus always said, Your faith has made you well. Because his will was to make and cause healing to people. His purpose was to heal. Even the broken heart. Even the bodies he was to heal by the stripes that he was, he was striped on the, on the cross. And therefore believe with you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are healed of your infirmity. In Jesus name. Just proceed to thank God for the healing on your body. In Jesus name. If you have been caused pain in so many things, loss of work, lack and everything, I'm calling upon the name of the Lord for your restoration in Jesus name. Be restored in Jesus name In Jesus name He gives back so many times Hallelujah. Hallelujah Just continue thanking God and blessing God Because he has seen you and he has seen your desire And he is keen to liberate you Endelea kushukuru Mungu na kumwabudu Mungu maana ameona tamadio lako na anaendelea kukutenda mema. Father we thank you for what you are doing to our beloved. Baba tunakushukuru kwa yale unatendea wapendwa wetu. Let them worship you in wonderment let them give testimonies of your doings. Wacha Bwana wakakuabudu katika hali ya kushangaa na wakapeane ushuhuda wako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Give them power to withstand the trials and temptation. Wape nguvu ya kustahimili majaribu. Even in this season. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. And believe. Let all say amen and amen. Even those who are at home, amen. Amen, amen. Jesus is good. His reason is able. In Jesus name. Jesus loves you. You are home.